Hi friends and welcome to today's video on how to look after your guinea pigs. We're going to quickly run through some things you can do to make sure you are looking after your guinea pigs. So the first thing that your guinea pigs need is space. The bigger the better in terms of the space and a 2x4 CNC cage is a good start for a group of two piggies but this does need to increase for bigger groups. These also do tend to be cheaper than the hutches you can purchase at the pet shop. My 2x4 cage was about £50. You can also add a loft to give another level, but this does take away from the usable floor space on the bottom level. Guinea pigs also need solid floors to walk on, so make sure you've got a nice smooth surface. The second thing they need is some nice bedding. So although it's convenient, sawdust can be super irritating for their little lungs. In fact, one of mine used to be kept on sawdust and now she has permanent irritation in her lungs, bless her. I'd recommend towels and fleeces. So one layer of towel and another layer of fleece. The fleece wicks away the pee into the towel, preventing smell. Whereas with wood shavings, it is much smellier. Also, in the UK, I have seen lemon scented wood shavings. And from my understanding, lemon or citrus essential oil are toxic to guinea pigs. So this just doesn't seem like a good idea to me at all. And will most likely irritate your guinea pig's lungs. The third thing guinea pigs need are hideys. So guinea pigs are prey animals and they need sheltered bits where they can hide when they get spooked by something. These can be fancy or as cheap as you want. Pets at home do some plastic ones in different colours which are about £6 and you are of course welcome to spoil your guinea pig just like I do and get them fluffy ones or a little bit fancier ones. Just make sure that you provide one more hidey than the number of guinea pigs to avoid conflict over resources. So if you have two guineas then you'll need three hideys. Food. So, the majority of your guinea pig's diet should be hay, which they should have access to at all times. I give mine Timothy hay from the pet shop, and I probably top it up one or two times per day. They also require vegetables, around 50 grams per pig per day. On a weekly basis, mine will get kale, spinach, broccoli, romaine lettuce, and a little bit of carrot and pepper. You do have to be careful with the carrot and pepper, though, as these are quite high in sugar and should be fed only one to two times per week. They also need good quality nuggets for their vitamin C, as guinea pigs don't produce this naturally. I feed the Burgess ones from Pets at Home in the mint flavour. They get 30 grams per pig per day. Finally, always make sure fresh water is available. Bottles are usually more hygienic than bottles for this. Keeping them clean. So I do a daily spot clean where I just use a dustpan and brush to remove most of their poops every day. Usually I target under the Heidi's and by the hay manger and the water as this is where they spend most of their time. Then once a week I wash their towels and blankets just to keep everything nice and clean. Enrichment. So keeping your guinea pigs entertained is essential for happy piggies. Tunnels and toys are great for this. Mine much prefer tunnels and I think some guinea pigs don't even use toys. But I have never met a guinea pig who doesn't love a tunnel. For a pair of guinea pigs, I recommend maybe three tunnels or two tunnels with something else to gnaw on. Um, and in terms of toys, if your guinea pigs don't really like toys so much, you can always provide them with treats. So just like we can see in this clip, there's a little roller in the bottom left hand corner. That's just full of sort of treats and food and they have to work for it. Very enriching for them. Another way I like to enrich my guinea pigs is to have one of those hay rollers and fill it up with hay and some dandelion. So that way they have a little lottery as to whether they're going to get hay or dandelion and it encourages them to play with it and roll it around. It's very enriching. Keeping an eye on your guinea pig's health is also very important when looking after your guinea pig. So keeping an eye on them to make sure they're not lethargic or not eating. Maybe they have some discharge from their eyes or their nose. Uh, these can all be signs that your guinea pig is poorly and needs to go to the vet. Um, you can also weigh them every week to make sure that they're not putting on too much weight or if they're losing weight, that could be a sign of illness. Guinea pigs are prey animals, so when they are ill, they hide their symptoms really well. Weighing them frequently can help you spot an illness early and can be life-saving. So obviously, their weight does fluctuate. 
and if you are bringing rescue guinea pigs home who maybe haven't been treated very well, it's very normal for them to put on a little bit of weight um, as they settle into their new home. Uh, but if you do notice a change in your guinea pig's weight that seems a bit much or seems quite sudden, then definitely get that checked out by the vet and you may have just saved your guinea pig's life. Do bear in mind that for longer haired piggies, uh, when you cut their hair, they will lose some weight. And make sure you note that down when you are recording their weights. I just do mine in the notes off of my phone. Uh, but when I do copper, who we can see in shot here, her weight drops quite a lot. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye friends!